Yo there guys, what is up Luke Games here and today we are doing Terraria Android Edition and today we're going to go on a hunt for a truffle worm. Now I don't know how common they are and I know they're, actually I know they're not common, I know they're very very uncommon. But we've got to find a mushroom barn today which is going to be quite a tr tricky task. You might say Luke, why don't you just make one yourself? Well I probably could but then I've got to get loads of mushrooms because I don't have any glowing mushroom uh, Clemente ammo, so I won't be able to do that. Now, our mushroom bomb is down here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get a truffle worm from there because it looks like a tiny area. I don't know if we've got any more areas where there's um, any mushroom biome because no, there's definitely nothing. So, like I said, what we could do is get the Clemente ammo, but I can't remember quite how to get the mushroom Clemente ammo or Clentaminator ammo. It's just so. I don't even know. I can't remember. But we're going to head over to that direction today. Hopefully, we can look around, get Truffle Worm. And I do want to fight Duke Fish Run soon. That's why I want to get the Truffle Worm. I think that we're, we're prepared to fight him. And we're prepared to, well, take him down. We can take him down, no problem. And I think we just picked something up. I don't know what we picked up. We've got some beet husks there. So, we could probably make some turtle armor soon as well. But we do need some turtle shells, which is going to be quite annoying to get. But... Should be good. We're going to head over to that jungle now then. And then we're going to check out the mushroom biome. The only way you can spread it, I believe, is by getting the mushroom clentaminator ammo. Which, yeah. Um, I can't remember how to get that. I think you have to have the NPC homed in the biome. The dried NPC. And, uh, no, is it? No, not the dried. The steampunker NPC um, who actually sells it. But... Wait a minute, can we just homer in that biome? Can we just do that? Can we remove the uh, roof flag and... No, you can't remove... Wait, can you or can't you? I don't know. I can't remember if you can or can't, but I know... Can you even check out what NPCs you have? You can't. Uh, going options. Nope, there's no 10 bars. Like, see, people keep telling me that every episode. Luke, you can get 10 bars. No, I can't get 10 bars. There's no, there's no way I can get 10 bars because it's not even in my edition. Wait a minute. There we go. My um, vampire knife stopped working there. Anyway, so today, hopefully, we'll go and get a truffle worm. That's one of the things that I've wanted for a very long time. And it's one of the things I just want to fight. Um, even if we fail fighting it, I mean, it's, it's going to be a good fight. And overall, I think I'll be able to beat it. I think. Because we do have chlorophyll armor. We do have uh, throwing knives or vampire knives, sorry. And hopefully, that's enough to kill it. Now, it just give us um, the regen. And with the regen... Obviously, we can get life back. And it's just so, so good that way. So, we're just going to head down now and find where that mushroom biome was. And then, we'll work on getting a truffle worm. Let's head down here. While we're down here as well, we could look for Planterras to fight. Because there's always a bunch of Planterras down here. Like, all the time. Don't know where, but there always is somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, how did I die? How did I? Luke's insides was ripped out by a thorn ball. So that would have been Plantera's thorn ball that would have taken me out. There's a Plantera spawner. Should we, yeah, let, let's try and fight. Why not? There we go. Plantera has awoken. Dun, 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 Come on. Plantera. 1v1 me, bro. Plantera's like no problem though. Like now, honestly, you've got vampire knives. You can just heal up so fast to how much he does to you or she does to you. How much damage she does to you. It's just mad. Like, you can see me, my life going down like crazy, but then you can see it going back up like crazy as well. See what I mean? Took like half of my life off then, but then I went all the way back up again, which is just absolutely crazy. But the only way they're taking off that much life is when they actually throw the balls, which past... When it gets uh, halfway and gets goes mad, it doesn't even just do the ball attack, so you can just like literally easily get away. No problem. And we need to summon our minion in. I uh, don't think we've got the Sharknado, but we do have... The pygmy staff, don't we? We need to summon that in because it does a little bit of damage. It does a little bit here and there. And I think it does help quite a lot. There we go. We've got another temple key. What else did we get today? I don't know. I think we've got a full inventory there. Hey, we've got a beeswax. How lovely. How absolutely lovely. So we're just going to trash a few things. Um, for example, these. We don't need these. We don't really need the Nazar because we've got tons of them. We don't really need the armor polish either. I think I just picked that up just for the sake of it. There we go. Trash that. 
We trash the Jow because we can get a ton of those. Recall potions, I don't even know where I got those from. Must have got them from something that died. Ropes, again, never going to use them because I've got wings. So wings are very, very helpful in a situation like this. So we go. we've got beeswax there. Grey alien potion and a hurtful Venus Magnum. Oh, and an adhesive bandage. Wow, <laughs> we got so many things in a small space of about two seconds. It was just a bunch of it. Here we go then. We're in our underground mushroom biome. And truffle worms spawn here. It's just they're very going to be very, very rare in this little tiny patch. Uh, very rare. They like to spawn off the screen a lot though. So that's why I'm sort of hopping up and down and around. Just hoping that one appears. But they're very, very uncommon. Like I say, on the Android edition. Especially in a place like this as well. You need like more of an area. But could you imagine... It? Wait a minute. I remember getting a truffle worm. Or did I almost get a truffle worm and not get it? Because I do remember it on this edition, on my Android edition, where it popped up here. And I went to get it and it just disappeared. And I'm pretty sure... It was right. Oh, I thought that was one then. It's the blood of the beetles. Those absolutely trick me all the time. The beetles just trick me like crazy because they're just there and give you a red husk. I don't want your red husk, violet husk, whatever husk you've got for me today. I just don't want it. Here we go. But I would I would turn all of my jungle into, like I say, mushroom biome. But to be able to do that, I'd first require to get the mushroom biome sprayer stuff. Clem <laughs> Clentaminator ammo. But I think it's called spray, is it? No, no, it's not. It's solution. Solution, that's it. I can never remember the name of that. So I just got such a random name. Solution, Clentaminator Solution. Random. But we could turn literally all of our jungle into mushroom biome, which would be pretty cool. I hate that it's... Why does it throw so many of those things? It throws like millions of them. Look, it's like thrown about 40 of them on Xbox. It throws like one. And on, on Android, it throws like 50 million. Luckily, they're all bouncing down there, but jeez. We might even need to heal up here as well. No, we don't, we don't need to heal up. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on. A bit faster. Don't want don't to take down its tentacles. Right, it's got a quarter of its life left now. A tiny bit of its life left now. Come on, Plantary. You know, you know we just want to give up. There we go. We've got rockets, which means we've probably got the grenade launcher this time. We're going to trash that, and we're going to trash the bandage. We don't need it. We, don't, we also don't need rest, red husks. We don't need glowing mushrooms. Uh, if the mushroom seeds come, that's that's better, but we really don't need those. Right, well, yeah, we've got the grenade launcher. I thought as much. Every time you get the um, rockets, you always get a grenade launcher all the time. So that's why I know it's those. And it looks like it's going to be one of those things again where I just can't get the axe. And I don't know why I can't get it. I just can't. It just won't come to me. It won't give it me. We're going to try and find a truffle worm in this tiny little area. It's going to be impossible to find it in this area, isn't it? Like, in reality, we're never going to find one here. That's... We've got a glowing mushroom, though. Which isn't good. We need the glowing mushroom seeds, don't we? That's what we need. Hmm. It's going to be a... Wait. Oh, I thought that was one then. You trolled me. I thought that was one. Th this thing here. But it's not. It's glowing mushroom. I honestly thought that was one then. Hmm. Oh well. It doesn't look like we're gonna get one. It's just it's just such a tiny biome. And the only way, like I say, that you can get the mushroom seeds is by literally just destroying the uh, mushrooms and the little bits of grass that it grows. I think it grows little bits of grass anyway. Or do you just destroy the mushrooms? I don't know. I know you can't keep placing them and putting them back down. Because I believe that don't work. There have to be grown mushrooms. Oh, we've got a cursed stuff in there as well. Still dropping cursed stuff in? It's after... Hmm. I thought that would be over by now. Oh, well. It's... It, <laughs> I guess it's uh, something else for us to fight. But... We don't, we'll, wait, we won't even run out of thingies, will, will we? Because we don't even need them. We'll never run out of them because we just need one. Because we're going to keep putting it in the chest and then get it. I don't think I've ever been in this... Have I? Haven't I? I don't know if I've ever been into this temple before. Have I been around it or have I been in it? No, I have been in it. I just ran straight through it, I think. I just destroy some of these so it don't kill us. There we go. And let's uh, take a look in the chest. Oh, a piercing boomerang. I mean, it'd be nice if, if, if we hadn't already been here. It'd be really nice if we hadn't. But it looks like we already have. 
And looks like we've already got all the stuff there. Lizards, what you doing? Oh, just in case they drop the egg as well. We need to make some room for that. I mean, we need room for everything. We're just picking up so much rubbish that we don't need. So, so much rubbish. Look at it all. Soul of Night, we don't need it. It's nice to have, but we just simply don't need it. We just got a magic mirror there. We've already got magic mirrors. We've got tons of magic mirrors. This was the one. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember it. This was the one where I was fighting them and they just weren't spotted. Oh, we've got a lizard parasol there as well. Which means we can farm more golems if we need to. But we don't really need to, to be fair. We've got we've got tons of them. We could try to get the lizard egg. That's a really nice pet to have. The lizard egg's like beautiful. But it really depends if we can get it or not. Because the lizard egg egg is very rare <laughs> like like a lot of pets they're quite rare some of them you can get out of gold chests some of them you rarely get out of ivory chests like the turtle but things like that i don't know you just have to be really lucky and i, I don't really like this little jungle temple we've got because it's too small things don't spawn in here and overall it's just a bad jungle temple just hoping that when i come out there was just gonna be a truffle worm there but there wasn't which is a letdown absolute letdown but we're going to have to get a Clentaminator and get some bullets for it. Because I don't think we're ever going to get a Truffle Worm from this little tiny biome here. So, let's head home then. And then we'll go and see if we can buy the ammo. We'll try and get the NPC there. I can't kill the NPC though, can I? That's the problem. Like, I would try kill it. Hmm. She might be in range for it, actually. Let's just double check. Spence would like to settle down. Okay. Awesome. Got Spencer FTC settling down now. <laughs> we don't need him settling down. Spencer's the guide? Or is he the merchant? Or is he the bomb person? I don't know. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. Demolitionist. That's the one I was looking for. He probably is the demolitionist, to be fair. But I don't, don't really know. There's a guide. There's a merchant. Yeah, so he's the demolitionist, I'm pretty sure. Right. Hang on. Where is my steampunker? It says she's there, but she's not. Is she outside? She's doing all the way out of here. Really? She's selling green solution, which is just the purification, isn't it? Yeah, spreads the purity. So if I spray over jungle... No, that, that don't work, does it? If I spray over jungle with it, it'll just make it into jungle. The Clementaminator is too platinum, but I think we already have one somewhere. Uh, Clementaminator? Not 100% sure, though. But we do need to make some of the mushroom one. I don't know if we can, like, make it ourselves... But it'll be good to look into if we can or can't. Right, we're going to sell the... Ah, oh, they've got no value. Why don't they have no value? They're like, they're, they're worth a lot. Okay, it's night time. So we could fight the destroyers. That'd be nice because we need, do need some more money. We do need a lot more money. We've got two destroyers here or two mechanical worms. Come on. There we go. Right. We've got two mechanical worms. Let's see if we can summon them in. Apparently it's not night time. Hmm. It's the trick, isn't it? It's, it's this mushroom biome that makes it all night time. It's horrible, it is. Really, it's because I thought it was night time. Let's just double check what time it is on the clock. Right, here we go. Let's just double check that. 7.44 p.m. So it should be night time. It should definitely be night time. Oh, okay. Just as to say that, it is night time. <laughs> here we go. So everything was literally slain. Not very good. Not very good at all. It means all my NPCs will need to spawn in again. Not good. But we will be able to fight the destroyer. I'm going to speed this part up and I'll speak to you guys soon. Wow, that kill is super fast. I didn't actually realize how fast the rainbow gun kills that. The DPS is absolutely insane. If I had a DPS counter, you would see so much DPS. I want to do it again, but I don't want to uh, stop it this time and play music. I want to actually kill it. And see how fast I can kill it with this, because look how fast. If you get it on it, that's just bad. Look at the damage. Look at the damage on that. That's ridiculous. Wow. So if you do get it like dead on like there, if we aim it downwards now, look at that. It's doing so much DPS. That must be crazy. It must almost be dead. That was so, so fast as well. Look at that. It just does so much. And then we're going to aim it downwards again. Look at all the probes. Jeez. They're all... They're, they're what... When you take out a part of it, 
and the red part comes out that they're the probes right there we go we killed it no problem really fast we're gonna get loads of money for it and um, we can sell the hollow bars as well because we don't really need them that much and we're gonna invest in a lot of money there because we've got souls uh, we didn't pick up the souls actually uh, let's just pick those up right we're gonna get rid of those fallen stars and pick up the souls beautiful 20 souls of might so that gives us enough to maybe get a few platinum or something, and then we could buy some solutions if we can buy them. I don't know, but we do need to definitely buy more of those solutions soon. Right, let's just uh, sell all these to here then. Right, we need to go to... What? Can't you enter a shop without entering the... Hmm, that's weird. I thought you can enter a shop without actually entering the hairstylist thing. Okay, he's the merchant. He'll sell me something, right? Yeah. <gasps> it's got the old working stick. I didn't think he had that. I didn't think he had that. I thought he only sold it on certain days. No, my inventory's full. He's also got some black thread. He doesn't sell that normally, does he? Or is it pink thread he doesn't sell normally? I don't know. I want to buy everything off him. I just want everything. Right, you can have an Azar. You can have the Bone Feather, because I'm not going to use him. You can have the Lizard Power Cell. I don't want to I don't want to fight the thing. We, you can have the Grenade Launcher. Um, Magnet Sphere, yeah. You can have it. You can have that. And what else can you have? You can have these. The Vine. Do it for the van. Do it for the van. 16 gold. Soul of might. Oh, yeah. And we have two platinum. Lovely. So we have... Yeah, we've got enough inventory space to buy all this. So we're going to buy a ton of these. Maybe not a ton of them. Maybe maybe just a certain amount of them. Yeah, that'll do. I don't, I don't want to buy too many. Just, just a few to cover ourselves. Maybe 18. That'll do. And the familiar wig is one gold. Good. We'll buy that. That and that. And then we'll buy the clown hat, clown shirt, clown pants. Lovely. Now we can be a killer clown and get millions of views in the thumbnail. And in the, the title, we're just going to put killer clown prank 2016 gone wrong. And um, the, the the thumbnail will just be a clown with a knife. Yeah, and it will get millions of views. You see, it's 10 out of 10 marketing techniques 2016. 20 slash 20. No, we'll call it killer clown prank 2018. Because, you know, people like to go in the future, don't they? People like to think, oh, look, this video is from 2018. Oh, wait, it's only 2016. The logic in that's stupid. But no, people actually believe those videos. They're from 2018. It's just, just like, what? Right, we've got 22 gold for that. Good. And we do have the old granny walking stick, don't we? Yep. Right, I'm going to summon my granny in then. Here we go. Old walking stick. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready to see the most funniest thing you saw in your lifetime? Right, here we go. Boom. <laughs> it's the granny from Worms. Look at that. She, she, she goes super slow. And then when you fly, she has like a jetpack. Like, the <laughs> she doesn't even have a jetpack. She just flies around like a bird. What's going on? I've never remember my granny to do that. What's, what's going on? She literally looks like a bird. I've never remembered the granny to do that in Worms. I don't think she ever flies around like a bird. I mean, she does... She just goes, and then she blows up, but she doesn't do that. <laughs> the fly like a bird, what even is that? What even is this? What's she got in her hand? Is that a torch? Is that a torch or is that a handbag? I think it's like a handbag and a walking stick. She flies. That's just too funny. <laughs> That's just too much. What even is this? What is this game anymore? Grannies with walking sticks that fly. They fly. Dude, she looks about 80 years old and she can fly. What's going on? This is this isn't right. This isn't right. We need to to bring this up with the Terraria developers for sure. But <laughs> that's like the best pet ever. And thank you so much, Reese Sticker Boy, for pointing that one out. Um, I didn't even know that was what who sold it. I didn't know when he sold it. And well, there we go. We've got our answer. He sells it at night time, I think. Unless it needs to be Thanksgiving, I don't really know. But happy Thanksgiving to anyone who celebrated it. I forgot what it was called earlier. I was trying to think of it. I was thinking thanks turkey in my head. But that's not what it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and deposit some of our stuff in here. Though. Uh, we can't deposit in there because that's too full. Hopefully we've got an empty chest somewhere. So we're going to deposit all of our stuff in. Because we've got a full inventory. And a lot of people always comment on <laughs> how I like to hoard things. And yeah, I do. I like to carry everything around with me. And then just like shove it all in the chest and just keep it. Because you never know if you're going to need the item later on in the game. So that's um, sort of why I keep everything, any room in these chests whatsoever. Is there any chests in the chest? Because sometimes I do that. Sometimes I actually put chests in chests. The logic there is just 
there's no logic, but, you know. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have any chest room there. So we're just going to close that down and double check in our room because I did, we did have a few chests. <laughs> That's too much. I can't, I just can't get over that granny. Could not get over the granny at all. Right, do we have any room here? No, we don't. We don't have any room whatsoever. Do we have any chests? I don't know. I know we got a bit of room there. You know, we can deposit some of the stuff there. Um, how much room? Do we have six or do we only have like three? We have four. So what we're going to do is deposit all the familiar wigs and then the ceiling. Because we're not going to use that now. I'm going to use the granny walking stick just because it's <laughs> how funny it is. That's just comic, comical that. Look at it just flying around. Too good. But I think we have some room over here to put the things in. Maybe... I don't really know. We need to go, go double check. So if you guys do know how to efficiently get um, a good mushroom underground mushroom biome, do comment below. I'd, I'd really like to hear that. And if you're still watching, remember to leave a thumbs up on the video. I really appreciate that. So let's just double check this chest here. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Look at all the Nazars. They're not cheated, by the way. You might think they are, but no. Go back to the Crimson episode and you'll see me mine, um, you'll see me farm about 5 million of them. That's not even a joke. There's, there's, there's so many. Like, there's so many to get from Crimson mobs. Right, okay, here we go. Deposit, 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 deposit. We don't want to be a killer clown. I don't want to do the prank. Okay, the prank's over. Prank's gone. Done. Right, deposit, 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 and... Well, we have those as well. We're going to deposit those. We've got the granny walking stick. We're keeping that on us all day, every day. We're never, we're never going to give that one. <laughs> it's way too much. We had two ceilings anyway. So there we go. Um, We'll keep the nasty rainbow gun. No, we won't. We'll put it away because we don't need it for now. We only need the vampire eyes really to keep us alive. We've got the uh, pixar as well. We've got two of those. Oh. Okay. Hurtful and ruthful. But any is good. So we do have the clentaminate on us. But... Like, what's a good way? Because you can't actually home NPCs on the Android edition. So what, what's the best way to get this solution? Can you make it? Comment below, like I say, anyway. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today. Please do like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.